So if you're like me, you love doing stuff to your hair. Tying it, curling it, straightening it, blow drying it, using hairspray on it, all that stuff. This video is going to be on all the stuff I use. So the first hair tool that I have is my curling iron and it is a pretty cheap curling iron. It is a Conair curling iron. I don't even know which kind it is because the label scratched off. It's the one that you can find in Walgreens, Target, anything like this. And I think this one was maybe 15 to 18 bucks. This is the one inch curling iron. I also have the one and a three fourth inch curling iron, which is a bit bigger. Uh, I prefer using the one inch when I do use it, but most of the time when I wave my hair, I usually just use my straightener. But it works really well and it was really worth the money because I've had this for a while now. I have it in two sizes and it has an adjustable temperature gauge here at the bottom. I usually keep mine at about 19. I don't have very thick hair, but I, I'm usually pretty quick at doing my curls, so I like to keep it on high heat just so I have less time. But I really like this curling iron. I feel that when it comes to curling irons, you don't need a fancy one as much as you do with a straightening iron. So speaking of straighteners, I have two straighteners to show you guys and the first one is a PHI straightener. It looks like this. It's kind of like a knockoff chi, I suppose. And I really, really liked this straightener. I loved the straightener for a really long time. The plates are really nice. When you put your hair through it, it doesn't ever snag. It doesn't ever feel like there's a lot of friction on your hair. It just really glides on through. Really comparable to a Chi or a hot tool straightener. My sister has had both and I've tried out both of those, both of hers, and this is very, very comparable to that. Really sturdy as well. It's not made out of cheap plastic or anything and it, it's got like grips over here too, which is nice. One thing I did not like about this though is that there is no temperature gauge on this straightener so you just get one setting and that's it. And I eventually had to stop using this straightener because it was damaging my hair because the heat is just so high. I'm not quite sure what the heat setting is on this. I don't really remember. I got it quite a long time ago. Uh, it's very high though. Whenever I straighten or curl my hair using this, I can smell that my hair is burning. I can tell by feeling it that my hair is burning and so I had to get a new straightener unfortunately because this is just I loved it so much but it was just really damaging my hair and I'm trying to grow my hair out right now so that's not good for those wondering though the PHI usually retails for around $60 it's about hot tools price but I got this one at Ross actually for about 30 so as mentioned, I had to get a new straightener, but as of right now, I don't really have a lot of money, and so I had to go out and buy a regular and cheaper hair straightener from the drugstore. Um, I came across this by chance. This is the Remington Keratin Therapy uh, with Smart Sensor Flat Iron. Got it at Target. It originally retails for $49.99. However, I think someone had returned the straightener, and it was in the sale aisle and the packaging wasn't as nice on sale for 30 bucks so it was by chance that I went to Target saw saw this and knew I was looking for a new straightener it's really good I like it the heat sensor I feel like does kind of help keep my hair in a better shape but maybe it's just because I was using that PHI before which was really damaging my hair. This one is digital so when you turn it on, blue lights come up right here and it tells you how hot the temperature is and whether or not the heat sensor is on. And I usually keep my hair on, or the setting for this, on 375, 345, between there because my hair is not really thick, doesn't really take a lot of heat to do my hair. so. Really, really good for my hair and the fact that I don't use as much heat as I used to and it really just makes my hair feel nice. The plates feel really smooth. They feel, they're like coated in keratin and so when you do your hair it does feel a lot better. I straightened my hair with this and it felt a lot better than the end result with that hair straightener that I used to use. But when pulling through your hair, straightening, it's not as smooth. It does kind of feel like there's friction and I think it's partially because of that, that sensor right there. The sensor isn't as smooth looking as the plates. The plates are supposedly pearl plates as well if you've ever seen the Remington Pro products. But the sensor is kind of matte. It's black. It's made out of something strange and so I feel like that's kind of what 
makes you feel the friction on your hair. Otherwise, I think it'd probably be really good. But it doesn't bother me too much. I still am looking for a cheaper but really good straightener. As of right now, I'm really satisfied with the Remington though. Then for my hair dryer, again, it's really nothing special. I use the Con Air Cord Keeper mostly because it's convenient. I hate cords. I honestly, one of the things that I hated about my PHI hair straightener was that the cord was so long and there was nothing I could do about it. I had to just kind of wrap it up and clip it together and it still felt really long and it gets tangled and everything. But hate cords, so I got this convenient thing. You pull out the cord, plug it into the wall, and when you're done, there's a button on the side. My button broke because I dropped it. But you press a button and it all goes up and then you break the neck and it goes away really, really neatly. So those are all the hair styling tools that I use now for the products. My favorite hairspray at the moment is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Moisture Barrier Firm Hold Hairspray. Looks like this, really easy to find because you can get them at Target, really easy. And I think it's about three bucks, so not very expensive at all. I used to use the sexy hair, like the big sexy hair hairspray, but honestly it wasn't really doing its job, maybe because I had a really big old can. But it, it was okay. It, it was hairspray, but it wasn't the best hairspray, and I think this is 10 times better. I also have my Heat Tamer Spray by Tresemme, the one that pretty much everyone on YouTube and everyone in the world uses. But it works. I didn't like it before, but now I do. I've always liked the smell for some reason. My sister uses this, and I've always really liked the smell. But I, for some reason before, didn't like using the spray because I felt like, you know, you're making your hair wet, so how is that going to protect your hair? But now, I just like it. I don't know, I converted. It's a lot easier than what I used to use. And what I used to use is the Suave Keratin Infusion Heat Defense Leave-In Conditioner. It's a cream. It looks like a cream. If you used to watch some of my older videos, you've seen me use this before. And you just pour it out and it put it in your hair. It's kind of like a milky thing. I don't know, but it did work as well. Uh, I feel like the Tresemme does work better though. Then, of course, there is the ever-infamous Chi Silk Infusion. It doesn't say on the packaging ever, but it does have heat-protecting properties in it. And it makes your hair feel really silky afterwards. I don't feel like it does a lot of heat-protecting, honestly, but it says it does, or I've read online elsewhere that it does. So, yeah, it makes your hair feel nice, though. I try not to just use this without heat tamer anyways. And the last product... It's probably the best product you could ever use for your hair. And it is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Heat tamer, repairs damaged hair, adds shines, detangles, defrizzes, creates silkiness, stops breakage, protects your hair color, it does all this stuff. There are 10 things that it does. One thing I don't like about it is the smell. I don't know why, but I really don't like the smell. Oh. It doesn't smell bad and I can see a lot of other people liking the way it smells, but it kind of makes me nauseous. But I literally only have that much left in it. I haven't been using it because there's just so little of it. It's kind of hard to get out, but I'll finish it eventually. Really, really, really good product though. It makes your hair feel amazing. I can get over the smell though by how amazing it makes my hair feel. So those were all my hair tools and hair products related things. So hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later.